Hello everyone, it's Hannah from Wild and Growing. I am back again with another wild edible video because the last one I posted had such a great response. This time I'm going to show you how to make a soup using wood sorrel and sheep sorrel, all harvested from my backyard. It's gonna be really awesome and this is the first time I'm making this soup so hopefully it turns out really great. I think it will. So if you don't know what wood sorrel is, it's most likely you're confusing it with clovers. So it looks very similar, but if you take a closer look, it looks completely different. So this here is wood sorrel. You can see it has very small yellow flowers. It also has heart-shaped leaves that looks like clovers, but it's heart-shaped. Right next to me are some clovers, so I will show you and compare what they look like. So you can see clovers will have the white clover head or the red clover heads, and the leaves are not heart-shaped. Clovers are also edible, but for this purpose we're going to harvest some of this wood soil. And it's really a versatile plant. It's a really good source of vitamin C. If you taste it raw, it tastes like lemons. It's really, really yummy. Kids love this plant. It's kind of like nature's Sour Patch Kid. So I'm just gonna harvest as much as I can here, and then I'll show you the other type of sorrel, which is also growing in my backyard. So the second type of sorrel that I mentioned is called sheep sorrel. It has a completely different look, but it has that same lemony taste. So let me show you what this plant looks like. So I'm actually sitting on a patch of sheep sorrel. So the leaves are rocket shape. So you can see it has one lobe and then two of these little side lobes coming out. And you can confirm that this is sheep's sorrel by just taking a little nibble. It will taste like lemons. So we're going to harvest a bunch of this for the recipe. So this recipe also calls for onions. You can use wild onions, ramps, or store-bought onions. I'm lucky enough to have these onions called Egyptian walking onions, I believe is what it's called. So the cool thing about these is that the onion bulbs grow at the top of the plant. And I'll show you what that looks like right here. So all I'm gonna do is harvest a couple of these bulbs and we're gonna put them in our soup. So if I can't do this one hand. Okay, so now that we've gathered our supplies, we are now able to get cooking. I'm really excited to try this recipe. First, we need to start off with chopping our onions, whether those are wild onions or onions you've bought in a store. Chop them into bite-sized pieces like I am doing here. And then what we're gonna do next is we're going to add it to a pot that has simmering butter in it. I am using vegan butter, but you can use real butter or you can use oil. Butter is gonna make it creamier though. Add your chopped bite-sized pieces to your butter and let sit for five to 10 minutes. Once it's sat for 10 minutes, you are going to add veggie stock. So you're gonna add one quart of veggie stock. And before you do that, you wanna just make sure nothing's sticking to the pan, give it a good stir. So I'm adding one quart of veggie stock here. You can also use chicken stock, but like I said earlier, I am vegetarian, so I'm using veggie stock. You're gonna add all of your stock and then you're gonna let it, you're gonna bring it to a simmer and cook it for another 10 minutes. After it's simmered for 10 minutes, you're going to add your sorrel grains. So you wanna chop these finely and I found out the hard way, you wanna remove the stems. The stems are not very easy to digest and cook, so they're gonna be kind of hard in your soup. Um, if you make mis this mistake, it's not the end of the world, but it will be more tender if you remove the stems. So you wanna add a good amount, probably about four cups of the sorrel, but add as much as you want. After you added the sorrel, you're gonna add some flour. So you're gonna add four teaspoons of flour, and I suggest adding, making a slurry, so mix the flour with water before you add it to your pot so it's easier to mix. Once you add your flour, you're going to whisk it and make sure all of the flour is incorporated into your soup. 
So after you whisk it, you're going to let it cook for another 10 minutes and bring it to a simmer. While it is simmering, you're going to want to prepare your egg and cream base. So what you do is take the yolks of two eggs and you mix it with one cup of cream or non-dairy milk like I did. Then you want to add it, tempering it. So you're going to add a little bit of the hot soup liquid to your eggs at a time, whisking it and whisking it until you believe the egg has come to temperature. And then you can add your egg mixture to your soup. I wasn't able to get this on film because I needed two hands for this. And this is how the finished soup comes out. It was honestly so delicious and lemony, I would totally make it again. I hope you try it. Let me know if you try it in the comments below and tell me what you think. Have a good day. Thank you for watching.